everybody for turning on the microphone. There we go. And uh, coming out tonight. Anybody not been to the La Sierra Center here? Could use uh, taxpayer money, yeah? Okay, so this is a renaissance at work for our citizens, for our residents of Riverside. Hopefully you're pleased with the investment that we've made, not only here, but all over the city. And since I've been on the campaign trail in January, I've been knocking on doors. Team Bailey's been out to over 15,000 doors, knocking and talking to individual residents and their families and asking them what they want to see for the future of Riverside, just having conversations. And what I found, really, that the heart of, of Riversiders is that we are better together. We are better together. It's not just about the mayor or the city council. It's not just about the Parks and Rec Department or code enforcement. It's that the entire city is working as a team. And so I think you can be proud of the team that we have at Riverside. We have, in the last year, solved, resolved, answered, at least, 160,000 calls for service for 311. Who out there is called 311? It's a great, great service, best practice across the country, and it takes care of the basic municipal needs of the government. That's what the city does. High quality municipal uh, services to ensure a safe, inclusive, and livable community. And I think we're doing that on a daily basis. Um, I'm here to continue that service. My family's been Riverside almost 100 years, since 1914, the babies have lived in Riverside and served Riverside. Really, my heart's desire, and once you walk away with Rusty Bailey's and they have faith, family, and friends, whose heart's desire is to continue to serve the city and leave a, leave a legacy of good government and economic growth for future generations of Riversiders, including my two daughters, Elizabeth and Julia, and your family and your, your kids, your granddaughters, grandsons to be. So I, if you can't tell, I'm proud to be a Riversider, and I hope you are too. Thank you uh, for inviting me tonight. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and why I want to be mayor. Uh, 32 years ago, my wife got married. And we had to decide on a place to live. We moved to Riverside Three years later, I was a land surveyor by profession. We opened a, a firm at the end of the years. We do civil engineering land surveying. And this year, we're celebrating our 30th year in business. You know, uh, a few years after we moved to uh, Riverside in the 80s, uh, I happened to meet a teacher to the Melbourne uh, School District, Mary Lou Morales. And she said, You know, Ed, uh, why don't you get uh, involved in the civic community? And I said, You know, that's a great idea. So the next thing I did is I found myself to be uh, on the commission of the Industrial Technology Advisory Commission the Melbourne the Illinois School District. And I sat on that commission for about uh, six years. After I left that commission, I went to work. Joined the Airport Land Use Commission. And then after that, in 99, Alex Clifford, who was a councilman in Ward 5, elected not to run for office again. And so I threw my hat away for, uh, for that uh, council seat, and I won in 2000. And so I was on the council for uh, eight years. Uh, and one of the things that, uh, uh, when I got on the council, if you look at the Ward 5, 6, and 7, they, they appear to be the stepchild of our city. It seemed like downtown and not everything. And one of the things I did when I was on the city council, one of several, and I don't have time to go over all of them, is on the board of commissions, I spearheaded the, the uh, idea of having uh, a person from each board represented on each board of commission. And I think that's important because this side, if you look at all the boards of commission at the time, they were all over the board or downtown. They weren't this area out here. So the city of Riverside is good to me and my family. I want to get back to the city. And that's why I'm going to run, uh, run for mayor. And, but we can never forget that the most important part about Riverside is the people in Baltimore. And that's why I want you to go to the Thank you, Ed. 